Hi friends, today we are going to start a new playlist of solving hacker rank practice problem solving and in problem solving we are going to solve first data structure and my goal would be to solve entire data structure section within probably two months max so basically there would be around 200 problems so in 60 days i have to complete around 200 problems so on an average i have to solve around three to four problems per day which would be a difficult goal but let's just make it goal we should have a good goal to achieve something in life so first problem is that array ds this is going to be a pretty easy problem i just already solved it but reset code and the problem statement is that to reverse a string so in python to do this entire thing it's very easy python has its own commands to reverse a string this command would reverse any string array list it this entire section generally reverse that string so i will submit the code and it's able to submit it properly but what if you're trying to solve this problem in some other languages which does not have this beautiful slicing and dicing thing so in that way there are two approaches that could be done one is to will create a new array let's take a pencil this would be our original array okay so one way is that to append every values in the new array so sorry we have to append every values into this new array but from the reverse side so first this would come into this new array then this section would come into this array in similar way and the last part so the new generated array would be forming of something like this value would be 1, 2, 3 and 4 so the first value if it comes and gets appended into 0th position so the value would be 4 3 so this would be a very simple approach but the problem with that this approach is that it requires another array to be created so for example in space complexity it's a big problem uh, you might face some error so basic problem of this would be big O of n another approach could be in a similar way so here the basic idea is to interchange the values so at first we will interchange 0th position and in python it's called the minus 1th position or the last position so the 4 would be coming to here and 1 would go to here in the similar way 3 would come to here and 2 would be here so we are interchanging the position just sorry for this writing but I'm writing through <laughs> through mouse it's creating some issue maybe I could buy a whiteboard but it does not matter so this is the basic idea so 
if we are able to do this problem so this would be like its time complexity would be n by 2 and it would not require any more new arrays so it is a much better approach so in this problem we will be try to solve this one and also for example in case if it's an even number sorry it's an odd number these rows would be interchanging up to the odd number value only and the 3 number would be interchanged so in that way it 3 would be remaining in the same position so it will save a lot of time lot of space so in this problem this problem that given in hand will be try to solve this in this way so we will write a loop length of a divide by 2 the spelling is error so yeah So in Python basically the number value system is in this way. If you are counting from the left hand side it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and if you are counting it from left, right side it's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 so basically when the loop is going from 0 to n double divide by 2 means it does not give remainder it will take the floor value of it so if 5 double divide by 2 would basically mean a value of 2 so it's going from 0 to 2th value and it takes the lower limit so this two would be not it the increment value would be zero and one so a to the power means a bracket zero value would be one and then a minus one this is this is the ith value the first instance ith value minus 0 value would be basically it's a to the power minus 1 with value is 5 and both of them was interchange the position in the similar way of a to a bracket 1 its value is its value is 2 and a minus 1 sorry it just to be minus 1 so it would become 
a minus 2 so a minus 2 value is 4 so it would be 4 so 2 and 4 be that interchanging the position And let's run the oops, I made a mistake. I'm returning inside a loop which is not correct. And as you can see, it passed all the test cases. So that's it. And thanks for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for the next video.